Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read. And uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello, Libra. So for 2021, I'm going to start off by just uh, seeing what's coming up here and then we'll get on to the cards. For a lot of you, the energy I'm feeling here is one of you're not, some of you are not adjusting well this year or 2020. Again, this is a general reading. Take what works for you, leave the rest, right? But 2020 really um, shook some of you. It really shook you to your core, it shook most people to their core. But for you, some of you out there who really need to hear this, it's almost, um, some of you are going to have to go through some trauma healing and spiritual videos are not a replacement for therapy. All right, so make sure you're reaching out. Some of you who need that, make sure you're reaching out for help. But it feels like being betrayed by life almost for some of you. And so you're kind of on edge waiting for something else. You're always waiting for the other shoe to drop, so to speak. So this whole year, like there's a potential here for balance and harmony and love and, you know, all these nice things. But there's this fear. Yeah, well... You know, I put my um, energies into this and then all this stuff started happening in the world and it got taken away from me. Or, you know what, I've already worked so hard and now the world is changing again and I feel like something's being taken away from me. So watch any feeling of defensiveness or forcing things to be balanced when, when they're still teetering a little bit, when it's not really ready to be balanced just yet, Okay. Some of you are really going to have to work through some emotional stuff. And it doesn't mean like some awful things are going to happen. It's just some of you, there might be some memories coming up that you're working through. Um, but for a lot of you watching this, there's, there were things that were hooked into 2020. I'm hearing unfinished business. So there's a lot of carryover for some of you from 2020. Or it was changes set in motion last year. And this year you're trying to figure out what that means. How do I carry forward? There, there's a life that a lot of you wanted to create. So just imagine how you always thought your life would be. For some of you, you're realizing or thinking that's not possible. I just realized, <clears throat> excuse me, that that's not possible or that um, I'm not. Some of you, watch your self-esteem issues this year because some of you are like, I'm not good enough to do that. Or what's the point? Okay. Some of you are like, what's the point of trying so hard when everything can just be taken away from you? That's not everybody. Okay. That's not everybody. <laughs> but, um, for, even if you're listening to this halfway through 2021, you're like, that so didn't happen for me. I am having the best year of my life. Well, that could be because you have already come to terms with and healed from the things that you experienced previously. Not everybody's going to be in that space. Okay. I just keep hearing fear. A lot of you are just pulsing with this fear of the unknown and how um, unexpected life can be. What you're realizing, like most people this year, you're realizing your strength, your courage. Uh, some of you have been shaken in your faith. So give yourself a chance to bring all that together again. Again, that's not going to pick up on the mic, but as I'm saying that, there's a siren going off in the background, right? Right? that's where I feel like a lot of you are. We're like, there's just like this emergency siren going off in your head. It's like some um, fear button or fear lever got pulled, which was there to protect you. But now the, for some of you, the danger has passed and you haven't shut that lever off yet. Okay, so let's get you some cards. Be mindful of that. You don't want that getting you down a bad road. So... Let's see what we have here for you. There's a card sticking right out. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. There's that. We were just saying that. It's time to heal some of this 
and to see what you're afraid of. So if it's right there in your face, it's not going to go anywhere until you look at it, right? And th for some of you, this is changing your approach to your healing as well. What do we mean by that? Well, again, a lot of times people go into spirituality because they're trying to heal and they think that that's a replacement for treating the mental body. And it's simply not. I mean, you have to take a well-rounded approach to your healing. And this, for a lot of you, is going to come with um, acknowledging, I don't know, kind of acknowledging something that you have let be hidden from you for a while. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, it may make sense as the year goes on. Okay. All right. So then we have hold your vision, fixed mood. Things are not going to go the way you think. Okay. It is that feeling of, I kind of get going and then I, there's an obstacle. I kind of get going and then there's an obstacle and it's okay because when it's the right time for you, it will happen. When it is the right time for you, it will happen, but you got to come out of this frequency of some of you it's panic. Now, again, I know if you're one of the people who's like super, there's that siren again, super calm, cool, collected, <laughs> like, I don't know what you're talking about. You have something that you're working towards. Yes. Um, my message is kind of going towards the people who do need to heal their energy quite a bit. Uh, just cause that seems to be the first thing we need to address. But for the rest of you, if, you know, if things are coming about and the world has to land in a certain place before you can bring your vision forward or what have you, be patient. I know we hate hearing that, don't we? <laughs> but that is really being called for because luck is on your side, honey. Yes. New moon in Sagittarius. So hold your vision because good things are coming. Good things are going to be coming for you uh, if you heed what we were saying in the beginning. If you're in fear, this isn't going to pertain to you. But if you're hearing me say that beginning part of the message and you know exactly what I'm talking about, maybe you take a little bit of time in 2021 for self-care and you open your energy. You really open things up and you discover there's help when I need it. There's a solution when I'm curious uh, about what, how to handle something. Uh, things start to come to a better um, conclusion, a nice resolution because luck is on your side. Now, if you're somebody who's looking at this going... Haha, ha, I shall win at all costs. This ain't for you, okay? It ain't for you. It's not. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this. Uh, this happened for another sign, too. So there is this, like, arrow. And here's the same image again. And this one says, look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. So you're getting, because of all your experiences and all the healing that you're going through right now, you're going to have what you need. Things are going to move in the way that they need to. But you're going to have to broaden your perspective here and take things as they come. So that does not mean that everything just kind of gets handed to you and you don't have to work. It does not mean that nothing is going to happen in this world. Of course it is. All right. I've got the color card right here. Ha ha. What is yours? Green, revitalize your nervous system. Numbers 31. So your spiritual team is backing you up on this. But remember I said there's like, it's a, I've got my finger over the, <laughs> over the card. Sorry. Uh, but it's time to uh, let some of these fears go and allow yourself to kind of um, come back together. Not every, you don't have to be in constant adrenaline mode, emergency mode. Take some time to settle all this down. Okay. And then you'll find that you do have luck on your side. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.